what you're telling me is you want us to further refine the plan um, that you're not um, it's not ripe at this time for an advisory recommendation under 16a that we will go ahead and get our um, the um, line of credit set up but not draw on it until we come back and get your advisory recommendation and we can have more discussion about this is that am i reading the tea leaves correctly no you're shaking that your from me all right i i'm never going to vote to allow you to short-term borrow i'm never going to participate in i'm just talking for myself now mm -hmm. I, I believe that this chart clearly shows that the state's being driven off the cliff. And I don't know how it helps to borrow short term. The delayed payments just on this sheet, um, there's 400 million that'll be paid for after you leave, after your administration leaves office. All those red numbers and the 110 million, when's that, when will that be paid? December what? Probably the end, I, is that the 15th? I think it's the 7th. The 7th? Seven. Yeah. 7th? Yeah. And then I noticed that the 400 million managed low access point gets through November, right after the election. And I think the new governor is going to be confronted with the situation where they're at 115, 245, they're going to be below the 400 million, and they're going to have to short term borrow. What's not on the chart? So if you just draw a line at the election, which is between October and November, are the borrowing takes place before that. Mm -hmm. And then if you draw the line at December, January, when this administration's left office, all the payback happens. And what's not on this chart is the 1.2 billion in borrowing from schools that's gonna to have to be paid back after January. And the 600 million accounting gimmick that you use to cut schools, 600 million. Someone may try to pay that back. They may not. So this chart, even without the school payments, this chart puts 400 million onto the next governor, like that. Am I misreading the chart? Senator, I get that we have not <clears throat> agreed on um, how we financially manage the state. I'm here today to tell you and to lay out the um, actions that we need to take uh, transparently as possible to avoid short-term borrowing as much as possible, to try to take some reasonable actions, um, to delay payments. Everybody will get those payments within the fiscal year that they have been designated. Um, I'm saying that we um, are coming before you almost two months before the first action, month and a half, and we are, um, I get that we haven't agreed on the, um, how we financially manage the state. I don't think if now, even if the governor and I flipped and said we're gonna raise income taxes, I doubt whether we could even collect enough to balance this out in the remaining. Commissioner, you're taking this way too far. I'm not having a disagreement with you on that right now. I'm having a disagreement on you want us, <clears throat> you're, you're asking me as a member of the legislature to advise you to short-term borrow? You're required to I think to that's make. unwise. I think it's unwise to short-term borrow well, then what would under you this do? circumstance. All right, I get that, but then what would you do? Well, Commissioner, um, the if legislature there's another offered, route, I, I Commissioner, would. Commissioner, the yeah. legislature offered many alternatives. The administration chose the one we're on. This is the administration's budget. This is the one that you absolutely know the Senate does not support. The House partially supports it. So to now come before us and ask some of us to participate in piling on to the irresponsibility, I don't get that. I, I do not think you should short-term borrow. I do not. That's, I'm speaking for myself. And if there's a motion to advise that you should do that, I'm going to vote against it. 